I welcome you all in Jesus name. Today topic is chapter Ephesians chapter 1 where Paul greeting from Paul to Ephesians church. First we will see the first two verses what Paul's apostles says to them. He is pointing out that particularly from whom faithful in Christ Jesus who all are in faithful in Christ he particularly is telling about them after the third verse 3rd to 14 he clearly tells about spiritually blessing spiritually blessing in heavenly pleasure in Christ very clearly he explains about this chapter then 15 to 23 he actually faith in the Lord Jesus and love into all the saints he makes prayer clearly is his prayer Paul for spiritual wisdom he clearly Paul's spiritual wisdom and is is praying for them so what beautiful verse this this are once we'll hear this chapter we play and see chapter 1 Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the Beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet, 
and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Which is his body, that fullness of him that filleth of all in all. See, in nowadays, we are also, we will pray, we are in spiritual things, but we need to think we are blessed or not. This is a very my, uh, important things to know. We are blessed in spiritually life or not? If we not, please we need to follow these instructions to learn. What Ephesians is given to Ephesians, some churches nowadays like that only. The weak churches, but I am not point outing, but sometimes for some issue we are facing some problem. So particularly we want to blessing of spiritual life. So we have to go through this. We have to see this verse and each verse by verse. Then how Jesus Christ is help to us. 